Hello and welcome to Crucial Choice, the only show of its kind on careers and higher education. I'm your host, Raj Kapoor. In this season of Crucial Choice, we've shown you some very respected and sought after institutions in Malaysia. We have much more in Malaysia. And to take us through this, we have a very special guest on our show today. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Mr. Owais Kazi. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure. Great to have you here. Thank you so much. If I were to ask you why Malaysia, what would your answer be? Talking about Malaysia, I can go on and on. But before going further, here's a message from our Honourable Prime Minister of Malaysia. Education is one of the most important aspects in our life. It is crucial for the development of nations, their people, their economies, and their societies. I am Dr. Mahathir Mohamad, and I would like to encourage all the young people out there currently considering their path in education to come and study in Malaysia. We offer a proven, well-balanced private and public education system that has successfully produced graduates who excelled in their careers. You will find that completely immersing yourself in a different style of education is a great way to really experience and understand the people, its traditions and its cultures. We recently also had an opportunity to meet the Minister of Education of Malaysia. First and foremost, we emphasize a lot on quality, not only quality of the delivery, but also the quality of the curriculum, the quality of the content, and also the quality of the products that we produce from, by our higher learning institutions. And number two, we emphasize a lot on equity in education. It's very important. Not only we're looking at the quality of access, or some people might use the word uh, uh, equal opportunity, but we emphasize a lot on equity. And that will lead us to another aspect that we emphasize a lot in our education, which is inclusivity. We would like everybody to have an equal opportunity for education. This is where you will find in our uh, high learning institutions, we prepare uh, certain policies which is friendlier towards people with disabilities and also people with uh, for, uh, people's coming from a different background who may be perceived as disadvantaged in certain places. So we welcome everybody to our higher learning institutions. I was once a student with Abu Dhabi Indian School, followed by my university at American College of Dubai. And there was a time when I decided to transfer overseas. Options, there were plenty. Uh, US, UK, Canada were my prime uh, options that I was looking at. But one fine day, my counselor suggested, why don't you look for Malaysia as an option? I gave, I gave it a thought. I'm like, Malaysia out of all the places? I met some representatives from uh, Health University at one of the exhibitions here, and it sounded very interesting. The most catchy factor about the whole thing was the pricing. So finally, I landed up in Malaysia uh, at Help University. And on the way to the university campus, I was searching for the Twin Towers. That's the most prominent uh, structures in Malaysia that we all know of. Well, it didn't happen because it took me to a campus which was on the outskirts of the city. That's where my journey in education in Malaysia began. And I'm glad I took up this opportunity because something that amazed me was despite the low fee structures, there was no compromise on the quality of education. I was studying an American degree in a Malaysia campus. It had all the facilities, it had all that I needed for my studies, and everything was 100% up to the mark. Lecturers were extremely good, they were very kind, they were very attentive, they always supported me with all my uh, assignments, with my doubts, with my presentations. Uh, the students themselves, they used to feel more honored because they were happy to see international students in the class. And what I really like about Malaysian universities is there is no compromise on the quality of education. You really need to work hard if you want to achieve good grades. It's not any escape routes that you would be nice to lecturers and you might get grades, nothing like that.
Malaysia is not only about education. It's one of the most famous tourist destinations. And yes, indeed, life over there is worth exploring. And as a student, I would highly recommend you have enough time and opportunities to explore the country because first thing, it is a very safe destination uh, and it is very economical. So with less than $100 in your pocket, you can actually explore a good tourist destination over the weekend. So make the most out of that opportunity as well. minimum 17, 18 degrees, maximum of 34, 35. So it's quite pleasant. People down there are very friendly. They're not racist. They don't look at you as a foreigner and you know, start uh, treating you in a different way. They welcome foreigners. They make you feel so much at home. They're always there to help you, guide you through. And uh, the best part is almost everybody speaks English. So that makes it much easier for any kind of uh, student coming from any part of the world. We also emphasize a lot on internationalization. We would like Malaysia to be a safe home for any nationalities to come, to study, to learn, and to unleash the potential through education that they have in our campuses. And I think one of the things that we emphasize a lot in uh, Malaysia, especially in our, in our higher learning in, uh, institutions, is humanization. We would like to humanize education, because for us, education is not only about good grades that you obtain, or it's not only about the scroll that you get after you finish your final year, but more than that, we want everybody who graduated from Malaysia has that humanity within their heart. This is where we emphasize a lot on three major culture that we inculcate in our higher learning institution and also in our schools. Love, happiness and mutual respect. I would also like to thank all the universities that have been a part of Crucial Choice this season starting with University Malaya, which is one of the top universities in Malaysia, as well as among the top 100 world ranking universities. It's a city in itself. It holds a population of more than 20,000 students, and each faculty has their own set of buildings. So pretty huge, uh, has all the facilities, and is one of the top research universities of Malaysia as well. It offers almost all the programs you're looking for. I mean, name the program, they have everything. Especially if you're looking at the postgraduate session, whether it's done by research or mixed board, they have almost all the programs available. Most of our Middle Eastern students basically come down for the Masters or PhD programs. Some of them even bring their families along. So you can even accommodate uh, families down there where there are international schools for students who would be studying while the parents are doing the Masters or uh, PhD at the university. The Faculty of Medicine University Malaya has the oldest medical program in the country. So of course we are looking for the best candidates to enter our program. Number one, the students that we are looking for must have very good um, academic record, track record, especially in the medical sub, uh, mandatory subjects such as biology, chemistry, additional mathematics or physics. That is a must. Number two, these students have to be good communicators. So we will have um, interview, we will interview these students or applicants to see whether they best fit the medical school. We also have an entrance exam in which we look at their aptitude, we look at their critical thinking and clinical reasoning. And that is also a very important uh, aspect for all of our candidates. Why do we do this? We don't do this because we just want to make it difficult for students to enter. No, we do this because the medical program is a very difficult program. It takes five years, takes a lot of hard work, takes a lot of dedication. And we screen our candidates so that when you, we give you the seat, which is a very competitive seat, we are now saying that we think 
you'd be able to do this and you'd be able to do this successfully. From a completely Malaysian homegrown university, let's move across to the University of Nottingham, a foreign branch campus of the Nottingham University of the UK. This was established in Malaysia in the year 2000 and since then has been graduating a lot of students every year. The campus is built exactly like the campus back in the UK and we have students specializing in the field of engineering, pharmacy, health sciences, business, IT and they offer a lot of variety of programs which also suit a lot of Malaysian students. Another reason why we see a lot of Middle Eastern students choosing the Malaysia campus of Nottingham is because of the multicultural exposure they get in the region. It also has a lot to do with the halal food availability at the region, the safe and secure environment that they have, and Seminia in itself, which is roughly around half an hour away from Kuala Lumpur, has everything that a student wants. And the cost is going to surprise you. It's almost one third the cost what you're going to be paying in the UK, and you also have an option to transfer to the main campus at any time if you like. We are, a, 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 as well as being a diverse faculty, but we're a friendly, uh, we're a welcoming faculty. I think you'll find that all of our staff and students will only be you know, pleased to provide you with you know, help, advice and information. Uh, you can you know, find out more from our websites, from our uh, open days and from our, our agents in the, in the Middle East as well. And you know, I'd hope to see uh, some of you uh, maybe on campus in one or two years time. Next, I would like to take you to Sunway University, which is another Malaysian homegrown university, but from the private sector. Sunway University is a part of the Sunway Group, which is a city in itself. It has their own mall, their own fun city, they have their own university, their own high schools. Even Monash University has their campus existing in partnership with Sunway. In terms of facilities, they have an entire skywalk across the city, which is for the students. They're looking at a student size of more than 20,000 at their campus. And guess what? Middle Eastern students just love this place. They're very, very, very happy students down here. And the good thing again about Sunway is that they offer almost all the programs which is easily available online or you can check our website under educationmalaysia.goe.my. Well in Sunway we've been in education now for over 30 years and we're trying to really uh, offer very high quality education in the global context. Uh, we're very well connected as a university uh, internationally as are many universities now in Malaysia. And for example, we have a very strong relationship with Lancaster University in the UK, which means our students can get both a Sunway degree and a Lancaster degree. It's a co called a dual degree model, whereby our curriculum matches that of Lancaster in the UK, which is now one of the top 10 universities in the UK, and in fact named as University of the Year in the UK in 2018. Though in Malaysia we welcome students from all over the world, but we do go through a strict screening process before accepting students into universities into Malaysia. This is taken care of course by the Ministry of Education as well as the Immigration Department of Malaysia. There are no formal examinations that you need to attend to enter universities into Malaysia. Good grades usually should get you in through most of the universities. But apart from that, you might require IELTS or TOEFL as an English requirement into most of the campuses. One very key important thing that a student needs to know is your attendance and your marks are the key for you to renewing your visa. If you fall short of any of these requirements, the immigration has the right to cancel your visa and send you back. Many students frequently ask me, what are the job scenarios in Malaysia? Can we work while we study? Well, let's make it very clear. In Malaysia, you're allowed to work part-time during semester breaks or as a part of your internship. Looking at the cost of living in Malaysia, a student doesn't really need to work. You're looking at around $400 to $500 a month, which includes your boarding, lodging, uh, transportation, miscellaneous expenses. Despite having the most affordable fee structures, we still do offer scholarships. Malaysian universities do offer scholarships to international students, depending on the program and the grades they score. And these scholarships could range anywhere between 10% right up to 100%. We do have different criteria on selections, but students who deserve definitely do stand a chance to get those scholarships. Another important factor that we need to know is the Malaysian Qualification Agency. The function of the Malaysian Qualification Agency is to make sure that programs that are offered in the country are accredited. Uh, none of the institutions that do not have first cohort of students graduating allowed to take international studies. This is to ensure that the students that come in, they'll take accredited programs. So we have the quality assurance by this agency. Secondly, for the private institutions, we have one section at the ministry that look after the private 
uh, institution. We, we monitor their student management, uh, the programs that they offer. Those students that are coming in to Malaysia, they have to apply only to institutions that have achieved a rating system of four or better, four, five, six. So we have, we have a system that is in place, regulatory system. We have our own rating system in the country. Uh, number one, the rating system for all universities called STARA. So they are uh, six years altogether. And there's the other one for colleges in this rating system, it's called MyQuest. So students can, can check from the rating system which are the universities that have been uh, rated high in the category. And those are the universities that they want to go into. Because most of those that have been rated at the national level, they do very well at the international level. So we have our own a mechanism to ensure that the only good higher education provider are here in Malaysia. Let me take you to another university, uh, Asia Pacific University, one of the top technology universities in the private sector in Malaysia, which specializes in IT, computer science, business, hospitality, tourism. They're the only university which has won the Prime Minister's Award twice for employability of their students within the first three months of graduation a very modern, state-of-the-art, contemporary campus which is right in the heart of Kuala Lumpur and in the Technology Park of Malaysia. A lot of IT companies are based around there where the students actually get opportunities while studying as internship or as soon as they graduate, they are hired by those companies uh, right away. From the day that we were first established, we had a very strong commitment to the employability of our graduates. Indeed, that was part of the charter uh, that we were given with the establishment of the, of the, the college as it was then. And since then, for the past 20 years plus, we've managed to secure 95, 96% plus um, in professional employment among our graduates. Um, this isn't by accident, it's by design. Um, it's a primary objective of ours that uh, we are producing graduates who are going to be productive in the, in the workplace. Um, and it's very pleasing to see people build careers um, <coughs> over time in their professional fields. Another set of private universities and colleges come under the group of INTI. INTI universities and colleges has six campuses in Malaysia at different locations. The main campus, of course, being the Subang campus, which is in the heart of Kuala Lumpur. They also have campuses in Nilai, which is a huge, massive campus. Inti being another prominent choice of Middle Eastern students, has students from almost 100 different countries. Inti was set up 30 years ago as a college to provide additional opportunity for the student to uh, pursue higher degree. And of course, because our recognition, because our achievement, that we were upgraded to a university, uh, and now we are offering bachelor, master and PhD program. We are very proud that uh, our uh, students have, uh, have many, many successful career in different fields. And we are also very proud that uh, with the effort of the university, 99% of our students actually get a job within the first six months of their graduation. And also that the majority of them actually they will be able to get the first uh, uh, offer which is above the market average. The Ministry of Education is a big ministry in Malaysia. We are entitled with a huge budget in marketing, promotions, uh, to maintain the quality of education and to make sure that Malaysia falls under the top five most preferred destinations when it comes to international students. We currently have more than 170,000 international students from 150 plus countries across the globe. And we're looking at doubling these numbers in the coming years. And we look forward to welcoming you there. So if you're making that big decision, that crucial choice, Malaysia should be one of your best options. Salamat datang ke Malaysia.